What you are about to witness might be the coolest thing you have ever seen. Okay. Now you're looking at the Supra, right? And what do yeah. you see? What do you see with that Supra? Well, it's gorgeous, first of all. I but see pretty basic, of, right? Yeah, I see a lot of cute, uh, I see carbon. A little bit of carbon, nice little splitter. Yeah. Now, Sophia's gonna show you a little bit of a party trick, though. If you'd be so inclined, Sophia. Oh no, it's locked! I did that again, are you kidding me? This is take two, doors are unlocked officially. Ladies and gentlemen, oh, let them fly high into the sky. I finally got Sophia. Please, oh no, so Dave, what? why are you disappointed? Mr. Super himself, no, 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 no. Oh Sophia always dreamed of Lamborghini doors, her dream right. Lamborghini that doors. That is exactly how I acted yesterday oh. when I saw it. She was not very happy with me. I she won't speak to me. I don't think you could have done a better. Amen, tasteful. thank you. I don't, I don't, I don't thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. See, this guy gets it, Dave. Yeah. They're sick, brother, man. All right, well, maybe the truck is not being painted today after all. <laughs> we got a Lambo door of the world, Dave. Yeah, we got yes, a Lambo door of the world. Let's put it on. Let's do it. It's a fit chick right now. Looking prime. All right, all right. We're doing some painting today. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to the vlog. My dad's truck is in the paint booth. We got fenders. We got doors. Some of these are for my dad's truck. Some are for other vehicles. We got a mask up as well. We got to protect the baby lungs because when we go to Aconcagua at 22,000 feet, we're going to need all the lung capacity we can get. So we got the base all rhino lined. The top is going white. The body is going gold. This is going to be sick. <laughs> I feel like we're on an episode of Breaking Bad right now. Yes, sir. Well, there you guys go. The roof has been painted white, so we're going to let it sit and dry for about 20 minutes. Then we're going to mask it, and then we're going to paint the rest of the body, the bronze. And when I say we, obviously, Sophia and Dave. Sophia coming. Yes, yes, yes. Give yourself some credit. What are you talking Thanks. about? I, I painted the pink of Enzo, remember? 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 Something like that. <laughs> Do it. Sophia's over here doing the Macarena, and Dave is working around the clock. So we're working on masking up the top of the truck bed. And once again, when I say we, Dave's the only one doing any work around here. Sophia's dancing. It. You get this girl in some drip, and she just wants to bust and move. Let's see it. Let's see it again. Take two. That's gold. That's the one. No, you know what you're doing? Like, just throttle on and go. Just go, and then these are brakes. <laughs> oh! <laughs> go, go, go! See you later! <laughs> let's go, let's go! Look how fat Like a balloon! Is that a fat joke? Let's see it, Jakey! Oh, what? <laughs> what? Yes, sir! Yes, sir! Yes, sir. <laughs> well, here she is! The heart of my dad's truck. We got the LS3. We're talking 500 horsepower in a V8 with the opportunity, the option to supercharge it someday, one day for 100%. a cool 700. Yep. Now, the real question is it's all masked up. What color do we want to paint the block? The options are orange. Well, I guess the options are really endless. I can do whatever yeah, I want, they're right? Yeah, whatever you want to do. Yeah. I don't know. What do you think? What do you like best? Do you want to do like your signature colors? I don't know. Uh, I wouldn't want to do purple or pink. That'd be too much. It wouldn't It'd be too much. On I, the I might just go black. Is that lame? No. Am I lame doing black? No, black is always nice. That's what I'm gonna do with my Cadillac. Oh, let's do I'm black, go then. black. There we go. Then we can match. Twins. Twins. Deal. <laughs> See my dad's truck basically come back to life, and it's wild. I mean, the color, legit. Like legit. we took a legit. sample of your beer legit. and we matched it. And ironically enough, it also matched the factory paint color from back in the day. <laughs> this is sick though. We got the white roof as well to boot. I wish my mom was here to see this right now. You might remember my grandpa on my mom's side used to own this truck as well. He drove for 20 years. My dad drove this for 20 years. I drove this in high school too. My brothers drove this in high school. That's sick. That is so sick. Unbelievable. Like when I remember this truck, when my family owned it, this is the color it was. So yes, before it had a lot more patina, but it sat in Massachusetts for like 15 years. And as I remember the truck, it looked more like this. That's why we repainted it. Well, here she officially is with the clear coat done as well. Absolutely glowing. A major step in the process. So next steps, we gotta get all the other components in here, get them painted as well. And then it's kind of like a Lego set, kind of just assembling everything together, putting the LS3 in, and the interior is gonna take a little bit of time, but man, 
It's so incredibly beautiful. This color turned out amazing. Dave, thank you, thank you, thank you. Much appreciated. Sophia, thank you for helping too as well. No, it cannot be understated. You did a lot. Do it, self. Pop them up. Come on, come on. Why am I so enamored by this? I'm an actual child right now. The crazy thing, the subtleness of this flex. We're driving in traffic and nobody knows. Nobody understands what we're hiding. I'm glad they don't. Keep it secret. On that bombshell, today's video has been sponsored by Factor. Now I would imagine a lot of you guys are just like me. I'm as busy as ever. It's the end of the summertime. I'm trying to crush my end of summer goals, but I still gotta find time for a quality meal. Well, with Factor, those extra trips to the grocery store, forget about them. The shopping, the cleaning, the meal prepping, all that nonsense that goes along with trying to make food. You don't gotta deal with that because with Factor, you're gonna get the flavor, you're gonna get the nutritional quality that you need, as well as the convenience. With Factor, their meals, they're never frozen, they're always fresh, and they can be cooked in under two minutes. All you gotta do, you gotta heat them up, you gotta enjoy them, and then you can continue crushing your goals. With Factor, you have up to 35 different weekly meal options to choose from. They're delicious, they're dietitian approved, and like I said, under two minutes to cook them. And it gets even easier with Factor. They're delivered to your front door. It's too, it's so easy. It's, it's legit too easy. And I also love how flexible Factor is. You can adjust your order size from four meals a week up to 18 meals a week. You could put it on pause. Maybe you're out of town or maybe you got a special event. You can even share it with loved ones. The flexibility is off the charts. And with Factor, they got tons of snacking options. They got breakfast items, they got smoothies, they got juices. So no matter how hectic your lifestyle is, Factor's gonna fill the void. Now, a lot of you guys know I love HelloFresh. Well, Factor is now owned by HelloFresh and I love switching between the two brands because with a wider array of meals to choose from, there's something for everyone. And now you guys can enjoy both brands at a discount through me. Check out the link below or simply visit factor75.com. Use my code STRADMAN50 for 50% off your first Factor box and 20% off your next month of orders. That's factor75.com, code STRADMAN50 for 50% off your first Factor box and 20% on your next month orders. Check out the link below or visit factor75.com. That's not good. We're running into the same gladiator problem we had, what, a week ago? Now she fires up. I have no idea what's going on. Well, I think this is the right warehouse, possibly. We also have the Gladiator and the M2. I really need a more proper truck, but it's in Pennsylvania. Well, it would appear that Christmas has come early for the both of us. You got the Lamborghini doors on the Supra. Merry Christmas, by the way. Happy birthday. And we have a very special shipment here at the UPS Depot in downtown Salt Lake for yours truly. We're going wide. You know what this is. I know what it is. Wide body kit for the A12 super fast. Now the A12 happens to be on the other side of the country in Pennsylvania, which is also ironic because the TRX is also there. And so these boxes are absolutely massive. We got the M2 and we got the Gladiator. And I don't know if they're going to fit. I hope it works. I don't think it's going to, honestly. Oh, we got a box cutter. We can open up everything. Yep and one by one if we have to. Well, as you guys know, the Gladiator is a bit of a mall crawler and the truck bed is not very practical. Check this out. I think she's barely gonna fit. Oh my goodness. We got another box that probably isn't gonna fit. And we're gonna put the hood of the Ferrari on top of this other pallet. You can see them all judging us right now. Maybe me, not actually Sophia. It's not really Sophia's fault whatsoever. I think it's good. I think it's good I think though. It's gonna be Do the old fun. shake test. Now give it a shake test. Let's see. One is this box going anywhere? No, you see, nowhere. We're good. We're good. Full <laughs> weight on it. What could possibly go wrong? And like I said, you're well, you following me in the other way. You gotta test it. Oh, okay, okay. Oh. Yeah, yeah. No, you know, no. All the ways. We're, We're good. Chilling. And I think you guys call this baby a mall crawl. She got a Hellcat. Please turn on. Please, please, please turn. What is going on with the Gladiator? Yes, sir. Now, the guys at the cargo place were awesome, but it was so funny. When they saw the 6x6 Gladiator, he's like, you're gonna need a real truck, not a Gucci truck. I never heard that terminology before. I have a Gucci truck, AKA a mall crawler, but I guess the cool kids call it Gucci. Well, we decided to use better judgment. Sophia's gonna go pick up some ratchet straps, advanced auto parts, one mile that way. I can already see people typing away right now, calling us the dumbest people ever. We don't wanna lose that kit, so thank you. Who's with the shot? See you soon. Yep. I know this isn't the best excuse. My Ram TRX is in Pennsylvania. It's been there all summer. I've missed that truck so much. It's actually amazing how often you use a truck and when you don't have it, you realize how much you miss it. So I've ordered the strut tower for the A12 Superfast, but unfortunately, I don't know exactly how it works, but in the month of August in Italy, the Ferrari factory, they kind of sort of shut down. So I can't really get the part until sometime in September. I've ordered the part, when it'll arrive, I don't really know. Yeah. How'd you pronounce it? Rash the strap. Rash the strap, rash the strap. The southern accent's coming. I, I knew you were southern. They were like, what are you looking for? And I couldn't say it. It was <laughs> I was so embarrassing. Been... Now, the real question is, how do we get out of this plastic nonsense? Uh... You look so ridiculous sitting Why? here. Why? Why?
Why? Because you just do. I look. You're just like. <laughs> I look ridiculous. I'm your boyfriend. You're not supposed to call me ridiculous. I mean, you're cute, but ridiculous. Okay. Just a couple homeless bums sitting on the curb, dealing with some ratchet straps. Another day. Don't say it's not OSHA approved. Hey, hey, hey. hey. You're our certifier. You certify this. Right. If yeah. you say it's good, the audience believes you. If I say it's good, nobody believes me. I have a reputation that if unfortunately. It, if it falls, I'm not the one who certified it. it was yeah, but you're the one who's going to take the brunt of it. This, like, that's like. Okay, that oh, does yeah. not. Yeah, there yeah, you go. Look at that. There you go. That's going to hold that's for safe. sure. That's we got really four safe. ratchet straps. You're following us. You're on speaker the entire time. So if anybody's watching this video who works for OSHA, if you do work for OSHA, find a new job. But anyways, we only got, we, we, we've driven a mile. We got 17 more to go. Yeah, it'll be easy. The likelihood that four ratchet straps all fail at the same time is very unlikely. The problem with this Gladiator though, because of the additional axles, the back of the bed bounces way more than a standard truck. So I'm a little concerned that if it starts bouncing like crazy, it could could snap, but I think we'll be all right. This is a little bit curious. I hope he does not inspect my load right there. Also, MR2, all right. I don't know how we got it done, but we got it done. One body kit for one crash for our A12 has been delivered to home sweet home. Now, how we're gonna get off the truck, haven't really fully determined. We made it! We did it! I'm surprised. That was so easy. No, 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 no. We were dramatizing that for YouTube, 100%. That was not sketchy whatsoever. Wait. Not at all. No, no. It was just YouTube fake drama, right? Look, the straps. Oh, I shouldn't have grabbed that. Grab this one. Hey, see, we're good. We're fine. <laughs> one of the coolest parts about the car elevator, you can actually use it to get heavy, awkward items off of truck beds. Basically, you raise it up to the same level, then you can just slide this on top and then down. Smooth as butter. Give credit where credit's worth. See, I know how to use power tools. Wow. Are you impressed, Sophia? Very impressed. Look at the speed, though. Let's go. Ladies and gentlemen, drop it. Oh, unfortunately we decided the crate was just too heavy. So we're actually gonna unbox the crate here on the Gladiator. I don't really feel like there's much of an option. Once again, we gotta unscrew it and then use the pry bar, pop this thing off and then part by part, then we should just be able to, I don't know, kick off the crate when we're done. I'm also bouncing on the edge of death right now. So the dexterity has to be appreciated. If you're thinking we're making this harder for ourselves, we, we kind of sort of are, but we don't have. Can I get the last one? Uh, yes, 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 yes. Left-handed. Ambidextrous. Whoa. Whoa. Uh, two. Oh. Ow, 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 ow. Yeah, just toss it. Just let it go. Let it go. Ow, ow. We got a man down right now. I'm fighting it though. I'm tough. I'm tough as nails. Pun intended. You get it? Yeah, it's, yeah I'm still got my humor. Yeah, they were. Yeah, see, what are you talking about? I go through war, and you're trying to be all particular? No, as far as I'm concerned, that was the sharpest nail known to man. Yeah, exactly. I got, I got hit with a screw, basically, mm. like 17 times sharper mm. than that one, though. I don't know if I can actually show blood on camera. Is that allowed? I am bleeding on my wrist profusely right now in the worst. I can't, I don't think I can, I might get demonetized, but trust me. Trust me, trust, there's a lot of blood, right? I mean, make me sound tough. Right. You're just gushing blood everywhere. Well, we have probably about, I don't know, 25 to 50 different parts. I have no idea what any of these are, and uh, I'm not even going to try to describe what they are. I'm not going to film every single one either, so just trust the process. There is just a lot. Ooh, what was that? There's a lot of A12 parts, though. The cool thing is almost every single one of these parts is carbon fiber. Now, it's not really polished carbon fiber. A lot of it's actually bare carbon fiber. Once again, ooh, I know what these are. This is going to be such a sick kit. When you guys see this car done, it might be your favorite car that I've ever owned. This is going to be crazy, obviously from Duke Dynamics. Well, this pretty much sums up how the day has gone. You okay, Soph? We got more work to do. We got to unwrap the kit. We got more work. So we got the entire kit upstairs here in this upstairs bedroom. Uh, obviously, we, we're not going to install anything for quite a while. So we just took everything from right there. To right here. You can actually see the hood is bare carbon fiber. So we are gonna be painting all these components because it's not actually like high, it's not polished carbon fiber. So I don't know, maybe we could polish it though. Could we polish this? Or could it add clear coat? I don't know. I think you could, but it paints better. I think it's probably pretty hard for you guys to tell. This is legit bare carbon fiber. I'm not like the number one carbon fiber expert. So maybe somebody in the comments below can actually tell me what this exactly is. I don't know if it needs to have a layer of clear coat or if it needs to be polished out or what exactly. We're gonna paint the hood regardless, it doesn't really matter, but it's super, super lightweight. Now because the A12 is off in Pennsylvania, and I don't even know when this kit is gonna be fully installed, we're not gonna wrap the entire thing. It's a lot safer, obviously, to leave all the bubble wrap on. Now as far as the timeline for the A12, the car obviously, the frame's 
gotta be repaired. Whenever that happens, that happens. I gotta fly out to Pennsylvania. I gotta drive it home across the country. I gotta put the V12 back in. I gotta do the interior as well. And then once all of that is done, then the kit's gotta go on. I believe this is the rear fender right here. Very cool part. You can actually see these very cool, kind of like uh, F12 TDF style vents. That's sick. This is gonna be molded onto the rear fender. Sofa's taken off the front bumper here. It's all raw carbon. That's crazy, That's so cool. but we are gonna paint the car. Now, as far as what color we paint it, I have a couple ideas up my sleeve. I haven't fully decided, so let me know what you think in the comments below. What color do we paint the car? What color do we do to the interior? And of course, the wheels as well, because it all's gotta tie on in. Front bumper, fender, we got front fenders over there. So the kit from Duke Dynamics, it's almost like an A12 competition kit as well. So you can see the louvers, the vents right here. Obviously all bare carbon fiber. This car, I keep saying this over and over and over again, it's gonna be the coolest Ferrari ever. It is gonna be sick. Now, if any of Ferrari executives are watching today's video, uh, no cease and desist, please. I guess as a wise man once said, enjoy this view because the next time you see it, well, the car is gonna be pretty much done, I guess. Well, I think that is pretty much gonna wrap up today's video. So on the A12 Comp, it's a Duke Dynamics kit. I'm gonna put a photo of the kit right here and right here. Basically, it's an A12 competition, but it's extremely wide. Now, as far as the color combination, there's so many different directions we could go. So let me know what you think in the comments below. Obviously, I want it to be a bright color. We got the pink, we got, uh, we don't have purple. Hmm. On that bombshell, today's video is over.